dance his ways to whatever song plays without a care in the world. And I'm sitting here wearing the weight of the world on my shoulders. It's been a long day and there's still work to do. She's pulling at me, saying, Dad, I need you. There's a ball at the castle, and I've been invited. And I need to practice my dancing. Oh, please, Daddy, please. So I dance with Cinderella while she's here in my arms. Cause I know. Something the prince never knew Oh, I dance with Cinderella I don't wanna miss even one song Cause all too soon the clock will strike I'd be impressed She wants to know if I approve of the dress She says, Dad, the prom is just one week away And I need to practice my dancing Oh, please, Daddy, please So I will dance with Cinderella While she's here in my arms She came home today with the ring on her hand Just glowing and telling us all they had planned She says, Dad, the wedding's still six months away But I need to practice my dancing Oh, please, Daddy, please So I dance with Cinderella while she is here my own Well, it all began with the simple task of trying, attempting to give two little girls a bath. Uh, those two little girls would be Stevie Joy and Maria Sue Chapman, who are my two uh, youngest adopted daughters from China. And uh, they were three years old at the time. So, you know, bath time is supposed to be a happy time. But this particular night was not a happy time necessarily for Dad because it was late and I needed to get back to work trying to write songs. That's usually when I do most of my songwriting is after I get 
everybody in bed, at least the little girls in bed, and uh, and then things kind of quiet down a little bit, and and uh, I come up to my studio where I'm sitting now, and write songs. Well, uh, I, I was doing bath time, and and my little girls were still in a very playful mood, and I was in a very business, you know, let's get business done because Dad's got to get back to work, kind of a mindset. So I was giving them a bath, and I would. Turn. I remember I turned to get the, the shampoo or something, and uh, you know, turned back around to the water, and there were no little bodies. There was only ripples and and an empty bathtub uh, with with no girls. And about that time, they came walking back in to the bathroom uh, with their princess gowns on, with their uh, you know, they're ready to go to the ball. One of them is Cinderella, I think, and one is Snow White or something. And they're like, "Look at us, Dad. We're going to the ball." And I said, "No, you're going to the tub. It's bath time. So get back in the tub and the bath because I got to get this done. We got to get you in bed. It's already late." And so I put them back in the water and I'm scrubbing and washing, suds their hair up, and rinse them. Time to dry them off. Turn around to get the towel. Turn back around in the water. They're gone again. Where they go? So they're just having a big time with this, making this you know little game of escape and uh, and I'm really getting frustrated now so I, I get them back in and I'm dry them off you know and like all right well put your pajamas on get in bed and so get them in bed and you know dad will you read a story no no stories tonight it's too late we got to go to bed got to go to sleep now and uh, so pray but pray fast I don't want the no prayers for the children of Africa tonight we'll get to them tomorrow night immediate family only pray go so, you know, it's like prayers, and then, Dad, I'm thirsty, I want a drink. No, no more drinks, nothing. Go to sleep. I love you. Good night. Bye. So I closed the door, and uh, I'm like, oh, man, so frustrated, and, you know, that didn't go well. And as I'm walking away from their bedroom, I, I had this thought, and uh, I feel kind of like God was whispering this, you know, in my ear. One name, Emily Chapman, and immediately... Uh, I thought, Emily, Emily is now 20 years old. Now she's 21 at the time, 20 years old. She's, she's grown up. I used to have these moments with her, you know, tucking her into bed every night when I was home, when I was home from tour, you know, bath time and story time and tucking her in. And it went by like that. And I rushed through a lot of those moments with her trying to, you know, get back up to my studio to write. And some nights I would sit with her and read stories with her. And, but I thought, man, it goes by so fast. And my wife and I have the luxury of having a grown daughter and almost grown sons. And now we get a chance to do it again. Are we gonna, are we gonna do the same thing? Are we gonna run through those moments? Or am I gonna be, you know, have enough sense to stop and slow down in those moments? And, and even, you know, even if they're just gonna be a few extra moments, just enjoy it and let my little girls know that I've I've not just rushed through it and uh, I was very convicted by it and by this time they were already drifting off to sleep so uh, I thought I need to go write this down I gotta go try to try to write this song so I will remember this and I will be able to sing it to myself um, and and keep remembering to to take these moments uh, with with my little girls and with my my boys and with my wife and with friends and just not miss these moments and uh, so I started writing the song Cinderella that night and um, so there you go hopefully it will slow me down and slow others who hear it down enough to take those moments uh, that we have while we have them.